Hi, I'm Chris Wilcox and we're here at Wilcox Guitars today. I'm going to give you a little demo on how to align the optics on your Sabre bass. Uh, what I have here is a Sabre VL, four string, fretless. You don't normally have to do this uh, operation very often. If you change the action on the instrument or if you change the string gauge or the string type significantly, it's a good idea to check. Uh, the, what's going on here is that the optics components need to be centered on each string for maximum output and sensitivity. We've made this operation easy for you to do. Um, there, I've already removed the cover plate from the cavity. That's five Phillips head screws. Easily done. You've probably been in the back here before, but uh, take your cavity cover plate off. And this assumes also that the instrument, the action is where you want it, the intonation is correct, and the last thing to do is check the optics. So what you want to do is power up the instrument, plug a cable or, a, or a, at least a plug in and get your power on. You can see from the status LED that we're powered up now. And the uh, motherboard has a rotary switch on it. That rotary switch is got some numbers on it. You can see uh, it's right about in the middle of the motherboard and the rotary switch selects each string so that we can do this operation string by string. Position one is going to be the G string through position four which will be your E string and we'll just do them one at a time. Uh, usually do this uh, adjustment uh, holding the base like this so that it's in a playing position and that also gives you easy access to the front and the back. I've got a tool kit here which is similar to the kit you got with your Sabre base. These tools are a little bit bigger because I do these adjustments several times a day but it's the same set of tools that you got with your instrument. So we've got a a little flat bladed screwdriver that's the one we use to select the string on your rotary switch here. So I'm going to turn that from position 0 to position 1. Uh, so that's selected the G string. And uh, we've also got an LED, an indicator LED on the back. It's about an inch away from the rotary selector switch. And if the LED is red, that means that your optics are a little too low on the string. If the LED is green, it indicates that the optics are a little too high on the string. And right in between, when the LED goes out, then you're lined up just right. So I see, selecting this uh, G string, that we've got a green LED, which shows me that the optics are a little on the high side. So I'm going to go to the, uh, take the 564 inch hex wrench. And the adjustment screw for each string is right on top of that string's monolith. So I'm going to turn that counterclockwise a little bit until the LED goes out. And there it is. That means that string is lined up. So now I'm going to move on to position two. That's our D string. And uh, that has a red LED. So I'm going to come to the front here and... Turn that just a little bit clockwise until we get that red LED to extinguish. And there you have it. That looks good. And we're going to move on and select the A string. So that's position 3 on the rotary selector switch. And looks like that LED is out already. So... I'll just test it a little bit. I'll move it up. And there's the green. Move it down a little bit. And there's the red. Right in between. There it is. We've got the LED out. So that string is lined up. And finally, we move on to the E string. And that's position four on the rotary selector switch. That one is also a little bit on the low side. I've got a red LED there, and so I'm coming around to the front again, and I'm going to turn that clockwise a little bit, and that one's out. So now 
We've got all four strings lined up with the optics. And uh, last, you want to turn the rotary switch back to position zero, and that operation is finished. I'll point out while we're back here that there's also a set of trim pots. There's one for each string, and if you need to, you can adjust the output of each string using the trim pot. Generally, unless if you've got kind of standard gauged strings, uh, the instrument comes from the factory with the trim pots turned all the way up, but you can turn them down um, to uh, adjust if you've got a string that's low or a string that's high. And once you're satisfied with your string outputs, then you can power down the guitar, uh, put your cavity cover plate back on, and screw it down, and you're ready to go. Ooh.